Today I am talking about one of my favorite things to do on the bodyboard and that is to go fast. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video and I am super excited because today I am talking about one of my favorite things to do on the bodyboard and that is to go fast. So going fast on a bodyboard is probably the most enjoyable part of riding this craft. Heading down the line if you are going to try and get a real high speed barrel, if you're on drop knee coming around a section really quickly or if you just flat on the board going as fast as you possibly can towards a big section, these are the most enjoyable part of the sport. Today I want to dive into talking about how to go as fast as possible on the board and what it really takes to go fast and to hit sections. Finding the key balance between your weight distribution and getting that rail engaged is going to allow you to go down the line as fast as possible. If you guys want to support the channel, please check out boogieeveryday.com. We are dropping merch every month. We have got a bunch of stuff online. This really helps to support the channel and to bring you guys more content. So if you guys would like to help me and support the channel, feel free to go to boogieeveryday.com and check out the merch that I've got. I appreciate you guys' support. In this video, I really wanna help you guys go faster on the bodyboard. I wanna talk about how you use the momentum of the wave as well as the angle of the wave to generate as much speed as possible and hold your line all the way through to the end section. One of the things I wanna talk about is actually sliding on the board and understanding how to center your weight to best project yourself down the line. This is also good for when you're gonna be lining up barrels or when you wanna go as fast as possible, but it boils down to weight distribution. We talked about the weight distribution in the last video, which you guys can check up here, and that just discusses exactly what you would do when you're looking for barrels or possibly looking to go down the line. In these videos, you're gonna see a bunch of different techniques that I use, and I will be discussing through the videos exactly which technique you can use and how to better understand what is going on in these videos. The idea behind this video stems from people asking me a lot of the times how to do bigger airs and how to get better at timing. Unfortunately, it is very difficult for me to explain to you guys exactly how to time waves, but maybe understanding how to generate more speed and to also distribute your weight correctly when you're looking down the line. This time around, you're not gonna be seeing my arm at 90 degrees, but sometimes even my shoulder over my elbow position and looking down the line as fast as I can go, lifting my feet slightly out of the water, but always keeping my rail engaged. Today's video is sponsored by Bodyboard Depot. If you guys are looking for anything bodyboarding related and you guys are wanting to shop it online, check out bodyboarddepot.com. You guys are going to find a huge array of products on there from bodyboards to fins and everything else you need. If you guys are interested, head down to the link in the description, check them out and see what they have on offer. I'm sure you guys will not be disappointed and be able to get all your bodyboarding essentials there. So if you wanna go faster on your bodyboard, these are the steps you're gonna be taking in order to try and achieve this. The first step is staying high on the wave. By doing this, you are allowing yourself to gain a lot more momentum by going down the steeper part of the wave and allow yourself a lot more speed and a lot more projection down the line, as well as being able to time the section that much better. By staying high, you can kind of see what is going on and understand when the wave is gonna break, allowing you to hit those sections and project as fast and as far as possible into the flats. Secondly, we're gonna be talking about releasing once the rail is engaged. By releasing, I mean I actually lift my feet out of the water, pull my weight forward and allow the board to be as flat as possible. This release allows the board to slide as fast as possible and as quick as possible down the line. As well as releasing your fins out of the water and your body weight all on the board, 
you've got to make sure that that weight is centered in order for the board to travel as fast as it can down the section. Third, we're going to be talking about drawing clean lines down the wave. Now this is vitally important to keep you going as fast as possible and as smooth as possible into those sections. Once your timing gets better, this will be the key to getting all these moves right. This will allow you to draw clean lines the whole way down the wave without actually altering your speed at all and hitting that section perfectly to shoot you out. And the fourth step is not to pull the rail too hard. By pulling the rail up or even adjusting the rail just a little bit will really affect the speed. As soon as you pull up on the rail or you pull up on the nose, this is gonna change the direction of the momentum that your body is traveling along the wave. This could alter your speed and unfortunately, this is a factor in slowing yourself down. By drawing cleaner, smoother lines and not pulling up on the board or adjusting your rail at all, will allow you to have maximum speed when you hit the section, allowing you for your momentum to carry you through the wave and to do the moves out into the flats. Now that you guys have the steps to going faster, Let's look at a couple of example videos and show you guys exactly what I mean. Looking at step one, we're going to be trying to start off as high up on the wave as possible. You can see here at the start of this wave, I'm sitting very high. I grab the side of the rail here, and as I look to drive down this wave, you can see that I'm staying in this position on the wave where there's the most power. At this time, you can see that the angle of the wave is starting to pick up and actually the wave is starting to break and I'm sitting in that power section. As we go a little bit further, you can see my eye is fixated on that point, the shoulder very much over the elbow with a lot of weight going forward, fin slightly up, just a little touch there to make sure that my uh, rail is still engaged, fins back out of the water once again, another little touch to engage the rail and make sure that that rail is staying straight and then as we go up here to hit this section you can see the line is very clean no jerking motions on the board and then just hit that section looking over the shoulder here for the reverse legs nicely crossed and then trying to punch through this white water as I fall back down and land this one coming out of the white water. Next we're going to be looking at this wave from Portugal and this was one wave that I really thought showed the release after the rail is engaged. So as I'm taking off on this wave there's the surfer that's kind of dropping in he didn't really look back and I engaged the bottom turn here you can see my fins are in the water my rail is really engaged I'm kind of on that inside rail to make this bottom turn really effective and as I come up I go back up onto this first step where we sit high up on the wave. So you can see I'm back up almost at the top of the wave here. Where I am in this position, feet are completely out of the water and I'm just trying to get down the line as fast as possible. As we move through this wave here, you can see that again, legs are out of the water, but right as I start to engage the rail again, my fins drop back in and this line is a nice clean drawn line straight up into the section here and again popping that reverse out and landing that very clean and very smooth. If we go back on this wave here you can see that there's no jerking motions. The lines that I'm drawing here are very clean, very precise, straight up to the lip, no major pulling of the rail in any way and as you hit that that's where you get all your momentum through the lip and you can actually carry that speed into the move. Now looking at this backflip, also from Portugal in the recent uh, Portugal 2021 video that I put out. Again, I'm sitting very high up on the wave here. You can see my legs are dragging in the water. So I'm actually slowing myself down to stay as high as possible in order to use that steepness of the wave. I look down the line here, you can see I've now released my legs. They're now sitting up above the water and my fins again coming out so you can see that there's a lot of pressure put on the back of my board by lifting my legs up I'm actually putting a lot more weight onto the back of the board and the back rail and as I drive into this one you can see again the shoulder is over the elbow meaning that all my weight is leaning forward fins are out of the water to reduce drag and as I come through this you can just see the fin slightly tapping in the back there but I'm going to now engage the rail to come up to the section, both legs back in the water. 
drawing a clean line, no jerking motions, no moving, no pulling of the rail. And as I go up to this one, just lean the head back, cross the legs, make sure that that weight is centered over the middle of the board. And as I come down and land here, just putting the legs back in and dragging around for a completed move. Lastly, we're gonna be talking about this invert on the right wedge in uh, Super Tubos. And this wave here is a really cool example of uh, not jerking the rail, keeping it super smooth, even if there is a little bit of a bump in the wave. So you can see here again, starting off the speed line as high up as possible. And you can see I'm just waiting for the section to build up, make sure that the timing is correct. I start to bottom turn this wave here, once again, fins are out of the water releasing and reducing the amount of drag. As I go into this bottom turn, you can see that I'm actually reducing the amount of drag by lifting my feet. Look at the line that's being drawn behind me. It's a very smooth, clean, drawn out line. And as I go up to the lip here, there was actually a bit of a backwash that hit the wave. So you can see I go up to the lip here, still got that clean line and I'm just waiting for that section to come up and when it does, I just pop the rail off the top there and I actually go into this invert, which is nice and high above the lip and come down into that white water, break through the white water and land that one very nice and clean once again. So guys, I hope you have understood exactly what I mean and I hope this helps you to go as fast as possible on your bodyboard. For me, this is one of the best things about bodyboarding. You're very close to the surface, you're looking right at that water and you're going as fast as possible across the top of the water. Regardless if you are heading down the line to hit a big move or just flying through the inside of those barrels, going fast is so much fun and I think you guys will love it too. If you guys have liked this video, please drop a like as well as subscribing to the channel and I hope to see you in the next one.